It's soon to be half a century since humanity made that proverbial giant leap to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hands down about the fourth rung up. There you go. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now. Well, that was then. Back to the here and now. Decades on after that Apollo mission, a group of Russian space enthusiasts and engineers are embarking on a quest of their own. They're planning to send a microsatellite to the moon to get some real high-resolution footage of the remains of that American landing. Well, that's the theory, at least. Here's how they came up with the idea. As a blogger, I talk to lots of people on the internet about Cosmos, and I've noticed that it is a frequent topic. If the Americans flew to the moon or not, was the Apollo on the moon or not? All the points have already been made by both sides. Some believe they did not fly, others claim they did, and no one can actually convince each other. I was so bored with listening about the flag, the ground, the rockets. So I thought, guys, let's just fly there and have a look. We can argue forever. The moon hasn't gone anywhere. If the Americans have actually been on the moon, everything should still be there. Let's stop wasting time on the internet. We'd better collect money, build a satellite, and have a look ourselves. Researchers now then crowdfunding their project. Seems they've already gathered $15,000, which is supposedly enough to complete the project. Why? Well, because they say no booster rockets uh, needed. That's usually the most expensive part. The engineers instead plan to tag their lightweight micro-module onto a government finance satellite. Nonetheless, the engineers still know they will have plenty of challenges ahead. This idea of launching a microsatellite to the moon and image the landing sites of Apollo program is very interesting for, for a lot of people, first of all, because uh, like more than 40 years passed since the landings on the moon, and there is still no high-resolution photos of the, of the surface. Of course, that's a very challenging task to, to, for, for a small team to build a satellite which can fly to the moon. This would be a, some sort of innovation for microsatellites.